And the Eagles going to the right. Bright sunshine here at CG. Big job for Nankervis, who's slotted in very well and keen to perform here this afternoon. So here we go. The opening bounce. Nankervis beaten on that occasion by Vardy, who's doing the ruck work. And it's going to be the Eagles going into attack through Shuey, a free kick in the middle of the ground. Pretty tough conditions in some regards uh, for the players. It's quite blustery and obviously it's pretty warm. Hearn, long up towards the danger men. No one able to take the mark. Kennedy and Rance both there and it's Rance who sees it over. He's a bit and stiff Kennedy, there not to get a free Darling, kick. slow to get up. He gets uh, taken reasonably high. He's a bit stiff. So we'll keep an eye on Jack Darling. Vardy trying to do it from behind. Nankervis was in front spot. Basha Hurley around the body with a left foot up towards centre wing. No one able to take a mark cleanly. It was McGovern at the back who works hard. Now the skipper, Hearn, gets the hand pass away towards Wellingham. Wellingham goes short to Mitchell and he marks. Downfield play on his call. Here's Kennedy. 45 out almost directly in front and the chance for a dream start. Yeah, uh, Brian Lake downstairs, you would see from that that display right then that as soon as Sam Mitchell gets it within kicking range of Kennedy, you could see the excitement on Kennedy thinking he'll hit me lace out with this. Jack Darling is limping from the ground. That is not good news. Kennedy from 45 away to the right. And first score of the day to the dual Copeland Trophy winner in his blade boots. Let's have a look at this injury again, Jared. Well, he got uh, clipped and he landed uh, fairly awkwardly. Let's just take another look. Stay out. Ankle. Stay out, Alex. Play on. Oh, and head. It's difficult to see exactly what the issue was for Jack Darling. And here's Elton, who's playing, as we mentioned, just his fifth game of footy. So he's got to get that moving quickly. He's going short now because his opponent oh. is McGovern. And McGovern's already down in line to intercept this mark. So they retreat and go out the other way. Crawley back for Rance in the back pocket. Now he's under oh. pressure, trying to get away. West Coast trying to force the turnover. Conker has just kicked wildly. Intercepted by Giles. His kick off the side of the boot. Straight back to Rance. Important touch there by Cochin. Just on the back of Giles as he was kicking. It's been all about Richmond's pressure in their forward line. Over the first couple of weeks, Rayon will try and jump over the top. But Giles sees it over as well. I think Adam Simpson will be looking for an improvement in the pressure uh, around the ball from his charges. Uh, in particular, when the ball gets inside forward 50, they're being really vulnerable, the Eagles, to being scored against. Not necessarily goals, but uh, the two sides in opposition have hit the scoreboard. Great hit at Nankervis down to Martin. He's wrapped up by Prittis. Now Shepard has got Castagna. And it's going to be locked up in the middle of the ground. So, Jared, are we seeing that Vlosten is playing full forward and he's just a straight swap with Martin when he will go onto the ball? Because Vlosten's the, the, the last one on the line at the moment. Well, he's played forward a little bit uh, so far this season. And they like that uh, big mobile body up there. Caddy's also done it. Yeah. With no Griffiths, they're looking for another target and a bigger body. And kick turned over. Grimes able to intercept. And now Conker can try and build something off halfback. It's a good kick. Conker to centre wing. Rewald a long way from home. Swings around now. Goes up towards the half forward line. Free kick. And it's going to be a free kick down the way for the Eagles. See, that's the disparity in size. Even though Vlosten's big ish for a midfielder, he still had to jump early to think he was going to get over Barras. Wellingham changes direction. Goes out wide towards Hill. Brian Lake, any news on Jack Darling? Yes, Jack's just ran past. I'll just go here, see if Richmond kicks this goal. Like Jack uh, Darling has just ran a couple of uh, strides just past me just then. No major concern, though. The physio's talking to him. They haven't re taped that left ankle. But he's still in a little bit of discomfort, but I expect him to come back on the ground very shortly. Thank you, Lakey. Here's Mitchell. Settled in beautifully to his new club. A little quieter last week. Back to Hearn. Penetrating kick in towards the middle. Three Tigers there, including Nank Kervis, who got a hand to it. Poked out wide towards Prittis, who's forced to try and defend. And we'll have a ball up just that, forward of the centre. That is fantastic. Who was that? Was that Lambert who charged at that then? 
That was fantastic the way he just charged at that, accepting that he was going to be taken down in the tackle, but killed the ball. Well, Mitchell could have given away a free kick there, but Cochin gets it out to Nankervis, who gets a hurry kick down towards the forward line once more. They squabble for it. Rewalt was there, couldn't take it cleanly. Taken to ground was Butler. Around the body goes Wellingham. Basha Hooley may be first hurt. He needs a kind bounce, and he doesn't get it. Right on his hammer was Lacroix. He's given away a free kick. Butler gets another chance for the Tigers. Inside 50 towards Rewalt and Co. Lurking is Shepard. And once again, the Eagles for the moment out of trouble. Back towards the half-back line. Pretty smart kick by Jetta. There was nothing wide, and he uh, saw the numbers up the middle. Hill having to try and battle hard to win it, but he was beaten by Nankervis. Conker, Martin, and just scrubs a kick forward, but it went straight through the legs of Prittis. Picked up by Elton. Handball to Butler. He left it behind. And now Redden can give it to Yo. West Coast can look to try and break through the middle. Shares it for the run of Shepard. Old Yo back into a little bit of trouble. Got Kennedy on short. He'll even shorter, who takes the mark. He's had a fantastic start to the year, Elliot Yo, Dermot. And continues to do so today. And Marston pops up deep in the right pocket. I want to ask you, Jared, while we wait on this kick, why didn't Lewis Jetta put the afterburners on and take and them on? Take them on because he had nothing but cut grass for the next 60 metres in front of him. That's a good question. He's obviously down on confidence. He did see some players up the middle, but it was an under pressure kick. You're right, Dermot. He's but got it was a two on two he kicked to. Jack Darling back out on the ground for West Coast as Marston, tight angle, hooks that one right across the face. Kennedy down there, but marked by Nancurvis out the back for the Tigers. Good man did well. The only big tiger there. He's able to get it away. Here's Jack Rewald coming into it, Dermot. Um, Just the three goals so far. The Tigers are a really big one if they're to win from here. There he is, Jack Rewald, getting a toe to it. Pushing over the line. Yeah, they just need to return at it. They've been so good in all other areas. Especially the ruck with Big Nan Curvis. He's not going to make it to this one. Yeah, Elton will have to go. Just yeah. a return out of Jack on the board would be wonderful for them. With Giles, and it was Giles who won it. Opportunity for the Eagles through Gaff and Co to get it up towards centre wing. They've got run now, going through the middle. Gaff again over the top, keeps the ball in play, may get it back again close to the boundary line, and this time over. Darling's out there, as you called. He's now at full forward. So Kennedy just left the scene of the. They, know, they need more uh, contest out of Elton here. They just allow Giles to lob that one uncontested to his teammates. Easy takeaway. Martin, beautiful kick. Had to be accurate, and it was. Towards McIntosh, who's back in this week. Darling over the top. Nice to see him back. Gets the hand pass towards Nelson. They go inside 50 once again. Danger here for the Tigers. And the ball finishing over the line. You're going to pay the mark. Not smart. Pay it. Not smart by Camden McIntosh to allow contact right when he took the mark. Yeah. He controls the situation. And it made his kick miss the target in the end. It's a turnover. So Lacroix to have a shot. Been in good form in front of goals. Similar spot that uh, Shuey was in just a few moments ago. He pushed it right across the face. Jared, he's kicking for goals. He's been in good form for the entirety of his football life. <laughs> He is a wonderful kick of goals. As his record in this spot, pretty good. Just the one miss. 47 metres out. Good looking kick. He just leans back. It'll be very close on the line. That's there. I reckon it's there. The third umpire might get a run. Goal. Yeah. To make sure it the goal line. Score review. Umpire's call is a goal. Please make sure it was not touched. Just requiring confirmation. We'll get a good look at it here. It's got to be right over, and it is. No problem at all. Got close the umpire, didn't he? The first goal to the West Coast Eagles, kicked by Mark Lacroix. Yes, uh, I'm not sure what the confirmed goal decision and the confusion was. It was a good uh, two feet across the line, or he got too close the goal umpire. In, in the end, I reckon he was a bit distracted by the the bodies that were uh, hovering over him. But as you rightly uh, pointed out, Dermot, Lacroix, a magnificent shot in front of goal, whether it be that angle or the opposite. Not playing as much through the middle at the moment. So the goal standing for Mark Lacroix, his sixth of the season. 
certainly returning to some of his better form in 2017. So Martin and Vlosten now in the centre. Cochin uh, outside. Prestia also in for his first oh. run, and that's an average bounce. Oh, oh. Come on, boy. Should have been brought back. Come on, Razor. So Miles had the clear hit out at it. He's outside the circle as well. That's the explanation. He's a ripper, Ray. I love him. <laughs> then Kervis did contest it that time. And we see a free kick. It's going the Tigers' way and going to Dustin Martin. And Martin can send the Tigers forward. It's a wobbly old kick. Almost worked out. Lennon was just caught behind, though. Couldn't take the mark. Hutchings now has problems. Has to get it out. Shuey trying to fight his way out of there. And get a ball up inside 50 for Richmond. Let's have a look at this. Tell us how high it went. Oh, well, Giles is two metres, so that's only gone four in the air. Sean's up, Sean's up. Giles going against Grigg. And then Shuey wrapped up. Of course, Grigg causing a few headlines with his ruck work last week. Rewald uh, one out in the goal square with Barras. Giles knocking it down that time. Wellingham got it out. Yo. Now Jetta swamp the forward pressure from the Tigers. Good. Martin threw it on the boot into the pocket. Wrestling one on one. Caddy there and Barris, but the ball over the line by the Eagles defender. He's a very young, uh, talented player, Barris. They've sort of got a ready made intercept marker yep. to come up be, uh, and, and, and place behind the rest of their uh, back line. This is too easy. Giles is dominating these uh, stoppages. Nelson in the back pocket. And he's almost turned it over. The kick was just good enough to get it to Darling. Lacroix. Hutchings. And work it through Redden. Back for Hutchings. And a high kick under pressure. Elton couldn't take the mark. But the Tigers can move forward again. Hawley handled too hot for Ellis. Hawley had to go again. Lambert involved. Elton now he's turned it over. And there is open space in front of Josh Hill. He's got nothing to kick to inside 50. Had to hold on to it. Back for Darling. Unguarded goal square. Cripps working back hard. Bouncing ball to the wrong side for West Coast. And just a behind. Dermot, the Tigers had a massive lift from Todd Elton. At the stoppages, he's not being competitive. Clearly, he's uh, nervous coming in for the first time for a long period of time. But he's got to lift the work rate. Oh, dangerous kick in. Rance didn't get a hand to it. The ball has gone out and untouched. It's going to mean Jack Darling has a tight one in the pocket and a chance to add to the Eagles scoreboard. Hold that line, Jack. Just the four goals to Jack Darling in the first two rounds. 15. But the angle will test him. Kicking from outside the boundary line, he drifts it across the face, almost a mark, but uh, taken over the line and one behind. Cripps ended up spoiling yeah. his teammate there. Yeah, the thing is with that, with the lift from Elton that you ask for, it's play. a balancing act between he's only playing his fifth game, how much do you let him settle in? And at the moment, they're only, oh. what, eight points down, so there's no huge damage done. Poor kick point. by Prestia. Put his teammates under real pressure. An opportunity for Jetta. Had it, but only for a moment. Oh, beautiful. Cost, uh, beautiful twist by Cochin. He's going to get them out of trouble. Lennon goes short in towards the middle. That's going to be OK, because Stagner's got it there. Darts through the centre now. Running with him is McIntosh. He spears in the pass to Rewald. Couldn't take the mark. Recovers well. Goes on to the left foot. Kicks in towards full forward. And it spins away to the right pocket. And goes over the line. So what I was asking before from um, Jetta, did you see Castagna just take on Redden then? And the reason he... And for taking him on, the ball is now a danger... Well, there you go, from the contest. That kid there took the game yep. on and now the ball's in a dangerous position in the forward pocket. So Jetta's got to go for those line-breaking runs for his team. There he is. If he sees nothing in front of him and pressure from behind, he's got to take it on. He's given plenty of advice from his teammates at his positioning at the stoppage. So an opportunity here for the Tigers. Get a snap. Not bad. And Caddy's kick, was it? Not bad. Going across the place. Ellis's. Ellis. Yep. 
That's going to be close to the line to Hearn, who smashes it over. Boy, it's just, uh, just with that last one with Jack Rewalt trying to take that mark in the lead where he should have probably got the hands out. It's one area that uh, Richmond has struggled with this year so far. They've only had 11 marks on the lead compared to West Coast 26. Brian Lake on the boundary line. Great tap. Vardy it was. who did it down towards uh, Kennedy. They've got him well and truly covered. Conker goes onto the right boot, puts it up towards the Richmond 50 once again. A oh, couple of big flies, but no one able to take the mark. Opportunity now for Cochin again. Shrugs one tackle, drakes the line, then loses the foot as he tried to get the hand pass away. Vlosten was there, tries to lock it up. Vlosten goes again, gets it away to a teammate who kicks him towards goal and gets the goal. Well done by Lambert. Well, it was a great uh, effort by Lambert, but Cochin's the man for me, Dermot. He's twice now broken away from stoppages and uh, gives him that incredible rebound, particularly out of the back line, which uh, was the start of this foray into their forward line. It unleashed them a couple of times now. And I'm, for the life of me, not sure why they rest him on the boundary line. He's just too good a player. Get him back up in that goal square. Let him uh, have a breather in the square. Fantastic play by the Tigers' younger brigade then. Really well. And to start with, Rioli spoil for the outcoming ball as well to hold the ball in the forward line. So Lambert with the first goal for the Tigers. Elton in the ruck to go against Vardy. Elton got fingertips to it. Martin tie piped it forward, but Mitchell in the row. Of course, returning to the MCG. Place he goes so well after all those premierships with the Hawks. Oh. He just struck the tackle in the nick of time. Sends it out wide for Cripps, who judged it better than Hawley. Hawley overcommitting. Now Cripps can turn back towards goal. Looking for options. Still looking. And he pokes it short to Redden, but he's swapped by a couple of Tiger defenders. And it was good defence by the Tigers. Got back in numbers and blocked up most of the holes. Now Martin's kick back to Castagna. He's got a couple to beat. Hearn attacked it. Castagna with a good tackle. McIntosh following up for Richmond. Under pressure there in a one-on-one -on -one with Hutchings. And McIntosh used his strength just to work him out of it. The long kick now goes deep inside. 50, Lennon used the body. Out the back, the Tigers have the numbers. But West Coast recovering. Lennon feeds it away. Cochin evasive off the left. Rewald up as well. Still it's still in play. Rewald will recover. Snap it back over his shoulder. But he's missed. Well, they're up and about the Tigers. A little bit of pace, I think, is uh, concerning the West Coast Eagles. Jack knifed a little on this right leg. Ooh. Wellingham short to Nelson. Shorter to Shepard. Kicks into the man on the mark. Tigers are going to get another opportunity again. Lambert in towards full forward. Rewall! Couldn't take the mark. They're peppering away. Ball, bad bounce for Prittis. He's got to apply the tackle. The Ellis hand pass put his teammate under real pressure. Loses it now to Vlosten. Vlosten a high ball in towards the square. Wellingham takes a fine mark in front. Jared Wellingham, short, towards Hutchins. To the outer side, Gaff. Now they're down to the wing, players screaming for it, including Kennedy and also Lacroix. Kennedy couldn't take it cleanly. Bang, Lacroix crunched. In hard was Maston. Kennedy's still down behind play. Advantage paid. Mitchell goes in the wall of the pocket. Only to see it chopped off on the last line by Asprey. Doing a lot of things right at the moment, the Tigers. Kennedy back to his feet. Might have to get involved here. He's just recovered. And he works it out with Mitchell. Back for Nelson. Sam Mitchell again. It's with a short pass, but he missed Vardy. Gaff can run onto it. Quickly onto the left, but too wide. Well, the pressure right across the board from the Tigers is taking it up to the Eagles. Just cannot find the free man as we take another look at what happened to oh, George Kennedy. one in the kidneys. Left forearm. The, the bumper bar left forearm gets right into the back around where the kidney region is. And Curtis just with a little nudge on Vardy. Also, boys, Elton, as you saw before, how he did hyper extend his knee, he's back on the ground now. Thanks, Brian. Thank you on the boundary. Here's Nelson. Shuey back for Shepard. High ball inside 50 for the Eagles. Looking for a flyer. Darling there. Conker went through his hands. Hill 
put their headlock on that time, but no free kick. Gee, that belonged in the WWE, that, that hold. No, it's a DDT, I think it looked <laughs> yeah. like to him. All he needed to do was kick his legs out and bang. Looking to attack for West Coast. Martin trying to clear it away. Kicks off the kick. inside of the boot. It will go straight out of play. Very good miss, that one. Bounce the right way for the Tigers. Okay. Hearn heading to the bench. Okay, Dustin Martin been in such good form over the first couple of weeks. But spending a lot of time outside of the forward 50 at the moment. And he's getting involved. Prittis, another strong tackle on Martin. They don't mind that, the Jared. Pack. Don't mind that until the game settles into a bit of a, a run. Lambert quickly on the boot. McGovern best position. He was crunched by a couple, including a teammate. Go, now go, go. Play. And Butler okay. is away. Tucks it under the arm. Nobody in front of him at all. McGovern trying hard to try and chase. Got a good shepherd from Rioli. Butler will take it almost a lick. Speed kick kills. Goal. That is awesome, Jared. I've got no doubt this is a tactic coming in by Damien Hart. We park the bus and then try and beat the West Coast Eagles at uh, ground level with this uh, very nippy forward line that they've, they've got at the present time. They're not going to beat them in the air, and a good shepherd there from Rioli, but they will beat them at ground level. And that's a great break and finish. Here's a shepherd once again. Interesting technique, but uh, successful at that stage. Blistering pace from Dan Butler, heading the Tigers second. That is two line breaks we've had from two of the young Tiger forwards. Yeah. Castagna to take it through the middle of the ground, and now Butler from the wing. And Curvis got a right hand to it. Giles there also got it towards Prittis, who goes up towards the half forward line. No mark taken. Conker's got to apply the tackle. Eagles have got the opportunity again. Gee, they. Had a player going past, but just unable to get to it. Here's Cochin, Nankervis, McIntosh runs into a brick wall. Back to the big man again. They may eventually get out of it through Rance. Dusty on his Good own. Tar forward, Rioli. Rioli. Yeah. You're right, but Rioli's got to get it first. And the boundary lines, and Wellingham's going to beat him on this occasion. Well, the one weakness we see in Sam Mitchell... He was standing shoulder to shoulder with Rioli when they were in the centre square and Mitchell was tracking him and then could not run with Rioli who actually should have marked that ball. Just dropped it. Good fortune for Mitchell. Didn't show up his lack of foot speed. Giles to Gaff is OK. Shuey to try and take it around the boundary line and do so. Up towards half forward. The big men, Darling and Kennedy. Over their heads, however. And a good defensive mark taken by Conker. He's finding some footy down there, Reese Conker. Yep. Seven possessions for Conker now. Wide towards Rewalt. Nelson there as well. The boundary line may beat them both. It does. And Rewalt can come up the ground with Dustin Martin now uh, back inside the forward 50. Pretty deep. And McGovern is questioning where the hell's his opponent. They've actually outcoached him uh, here. They don't know why uh, they're having a big reshuffle in defence. Shallow throw in. Uh, Giles just got a hand to it. McIntosh works hard to Grigg. Grigg goes with a left foot long. Up towards Martin, who's got to beat a couple. Couldn't do so. He's fatigued there, up. Elton. Couldn't get to that contest. Kicks back towards the wing. Kennedy was buffeted. Prittis waiting down in front. Goes on to the left foot. How's the bounce? Good for Jack Darling. If he can get clear, he can. Towards Maston. Now the kick by Mitchell. Brilliant. That's a very good kick. And into the open goal, the quick answer comes to Hutchins. Mark Hutchins gets his first. And the Eagles have their second. They well, trail by a point. They needed that. They've looked a little bit scrappy. And uh, it was a great intercept mark by McGovern across the half-back line that sparked this attack. And the brilliant kicking by Sam Mitchell. He saw a couple... So what you've got here, Hutchings, 34, back of the pack. Mitchell now has already seen Hutchings go forward. He's already spied him. He knows one step, it's got to get to him. He unloads immediately. What, what you saw there is Sam Mitchell's football smarts in just in its best form. He saw Hutchings seven or eight seconds before the ball got its way to him. He was out the back and he knew he just had to unload immediately and get it to him. Tigers had the run of play the last couple of minutes, but important goal there for West Coast. 
kick smothered of Hutchings. Martin standing up in the tackle. Greek pressed here. Quickly up to Lambert. Had to try and take it on the half volley. Controlled it pretty well. Mitchell slow to get back to his feet. Now Gaff taken home. Still saw Mitchell. Hasn't yeah. moved. Free kick to Gaff. Having said that. He actually called for it then. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Foxing just a little Prittis into the pocket and Darling's on the end of it. Jack Darling can go back and have the set shot. And they're all testing these shots. You can look up at the flags and the wind is blowing from the north and down there it can be blowing from the south. It can go anywhere. So this is a, a very difficult one. I think you've just got to back the odds and that's Middle of the goals and uh, hope the wind favours you. Four goals across the opening two games of the season. That kick is looking good off the boot, but just fading late. It's knocked back down and still in play. The Tiger defence trying to clear it away through Rance. The kick was up and under, though, and Lacroix oh. will take the mark. Well, it wasn't Alex's best kick. Didn't have any uh, weight behind it. On the mark. Kra had a shot from a tougher angle a little bit earlier good in this quarter. Again, he's pretty good from this position right throughout his career. So Lacra lining up. Got it. No, pure. Kick good off oh, the boot oh. and it just goes yeah. across the face. Took so slow yeah. to get there, I thought it was through. His last one only just made the distance. And that one just going across. Hold. Right on it. Nice drop, nice delivery. Just got there a little slow. Wait. Two and a half minutes remaining in the quarter. That's it. Hold. Conquer short. Asprey. Move it on. Play on. Asprey called to go. Good. And so he does. Martin up towards Rewalt. Hearn right there as well. He just tapped the ball forward, trying to, to the team's advantage. Rewalt goes inboard, straight to Mitchell. Now Jetta, the hand pass is OK. Back to Mitchell again. Very prominent. It finishes on the 50 with Yo. And the kick is high into the square. No one at home, however, for the Eagles. And Asprey takes the mark. I think a presence a lot further up the ground today, Elliot Yo. Unfortunately, on that occasion, he kicked under pressure, couldn't get uh, full purchase on the ball. Just to stay in this game, inside defensive, say, 30 metres, the Tigers have to defend brilliantly because when it's in the Eagles' forward line, they look like they're holding it in there, they're desperate, they're dangerous. But once it gets to the middle of the ground, the Tigers look really dangerous themselves with quick ball out into their direction. Well, they've got a chance to clear now with under a couple of minutes remaining, but the kick is a poor one, however. And Wellingham accepts the pass. He's on centre wing. Long and low in towards the 50. That's a good strong mark taken by Shuey. He wants to play on quickly. You can see players loose across half forward. There's a couple of them there. He picks out one, but the kick is wide. Too wide. Poor kick by Maston. A lot of pressure out there, Dermot, both in third and physical. A couple of uh, scrubber kicks coming out of the half-back line from the Tigers, set up opportunities, and that one from Maston. A bit of pressure on Maston from uh, Cripps as well after that yeah. kick. So Hooley onto himself, oh. and the kick smothered. It sits for Mitchell, and West Coast can try and score one late. Prudis back inside for Mitchell, under pressure, and now the Tigers' defence yeah. able to swamp them and win it back. Probably just overusing the ball inside forward 50 the Eagles with so many uh, marking options. They don't need to do the flick around. Well, Presti has kicked turned over. And now Josh Hill, 40 seconds to go in the quarter. That's costly. It was a three on one and he picked out the Mr. one. Jacks. Probably too far out. He's just going to lay it up to the top of the square. Kennedy and Darling, the tall targets down there. And Curvis as well. Out the back, Asprey will rush to the behind. What would happen if Josh Kennedy pulled off that chase? And just allowed him to paddle it over. Without real pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Let it go, let it go. We'd probably have another week of debate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Hooley with 25 seconds on the clock. What's his Got kick like one, this Jack. time? Got a clunk one. Rewalt. A couple of flyers there, including McGovern. Yeah, Jack Jackie channed him out of the way. 
without a realistic attempt or chance of marking the ball. Pretty static up in that uh, Eagles forward line. They need a mark to get it here. The hand pass was effective from Lacroix. Kick wasn't, however. And the Tigers should get out of trouble. They do. No addition to the score. Eagles peppering, but they only lead by four points at the first change. Quarter time here at the MCG in a low-scoring first term. It is the West Coast Eagles. Two goals. It's amazing, isn't it? He's in his third game, Sammy Mitchell, and he looks like already he's coaching this Eagles midfield. Yeah. He's also dominating the game. Nine effective disposals and uh, the most metres gained of any Eagle. OK, so we're set to go in the second quarter. Vardy on the ball for the Eagles up against Nankervis, and he's going to get a stat here as he picks it up and he tumbles a punt up towards the 50, and Darling and Co are there. Hill was there also, but it gets chopped off, kicked back towards the middle of the ground. In front spot, unable to mark was Yo. Needs support and gets it in the form of his skipper, Hearn, who finds Shuey. Shuey goes to the left. Going to be OK. And the mark is taken there by Hill. Got to give them back something here. He's half jumped out of the way of that last ball that came straight at him. And I know there's certain players who you don't want getting poleaxed in the in the heavy work, but he had an opportunity to hold it inside forward 50. Four goals in the two games so far this season. That's going to drift across the face and go out the back for one behind. Well, he got his opportunity because of absolute brilliance across the half-back line from that man. Just have a look at this for quick hands. One, bang, and off he goes, releases the ball. Like lightning, isn't he? Oh, come on. <laughs> Too late, I think. <laughs> so, back into play. Rewalt's going to get caught behind here. Yo's in front. Takes it on the chest. Oh, he's got a hold. And he's, oh, good interception by Martin to get a hand of that because there were two low, loose eagles behind him. Now Martin's got to flick it up towards the half forward line. Got to be okay. A big fist, and it's pushed towards the boundary line. Are they able to keep it in play? Only just. Well done on that occasion. Geez, they come Asprey. off and support each other brilliantly in his yeah. back line. Hearn, that's got to be accurate. Got to be OK in the end. A chance for Pritters to clear. He's at half-back. Gets the hand pass across to Gaff and they're away. Well, well, it's set up Martin, sure. though. Great tackle. It looked like they were about to break free, West Coast, but that last handball just put Marston under too much pressure. I know this seems like the Sam Mitchell Appreciation Society, but when he had to go then in the firing line for that errant kick, he went and just risked his own health. Martin with a quick kick to the 50 and Lennon playing in front. Able to take it. Again, a win around the stoppage for the Tigers. And kicks cleverly into the pocket, looking for Rewari. He protected the ball well and diving low completes the mark. Well, that was just an experienced star against a young kid who's got a lot of talent, but he's also got some things to learn. And he just bodied him beautifully. Sean, can you please walk out 10 metres? Thank you. So Rewalt to have the shot at goal. Five possessions so far, only one effective. Only the three goals heading into today, but he has laid the most tackles of any player in the AFL inside forward 50. So he's doing the hard work. Gee, well. but then he's blazed that one well across the face. And it's marked by Vardy just inside the field of play. Got to tidy up a few areas, the Eagles. When that handball from Gaff is not on, he's an experienced player. And the kick from Yo was also a poor one. Cost them a shot at goal. Poor kick there from Vardy. And Kervis... Back for Martin. That's a, just a high blazing Play kick. On. Swirling breeze maybe affecting the ball? 40 a little bit because it moved late. Do you reckon that ball's all right? <laughs> this was, didn't look like it then. Run the pump and needle out and put some more air in it. <laughs> Do something to it. Nominate, please. Thank you. Presti has got Mitchell at this stoppage. Vardy in the ruck against Elton. Out the back. Just There's lands no. in the lap of McIntosh. But again, a missed opportunity. Oh, His snap is wide. Not a, a renowned goal kicker, McIntosh. Not a renowned kicker. No. He's a goer. Turn to bring it back into play. Eagles by four points. He's spoken kicker. And Curvis edged towards the front but couldn't complete it. Cochin was dealt with like a rag doll. Martin may get another chance because it wasn't 15. And away goes Dusty. From 65, he tries to flick it back to accommodate a loose player. And now they've got a problem, but it might be a free kick. No, it's a free kick to the Eagles. 
for holding the ball. Slightly turned him, Sandy, just yeah. on the tackle. So Gaff gives it to Maston. And the Eagles are away, in towards the centre of the ground. Lacra is lurking there. He looks inside 50. Kennedy's his target. Kennedy got fingertips to it, but that was all before it goes over the line with Hill and a throw in in the right forward pocket. I'm not sure what's uh, going on with Dusty's kicking, but he's just not hitting it out of the centre at the present time. Darling doing the ruck work. Conquers over the top of a pack of players and umpire has no alternative. And Damien Hardwick has now got Dusty Martin right at full forward. 100 metres to the right-hand side of the screen. Anchored. And that will give Tom Barras at his end. See, right down there in between the posts there. <laughs> almost at the point of the square closest to goals so really every player inside one half of the ground at the moment that's dusty that's now starting to give backman a few of the jitters Rest 30 meters from him at the moment in front at least so he's a chance yeah. to intercept if it doesn't make its journey all that quickly back into play shuey eyes on the ball short hitter thank you Kennedy, well, came off his head, but he couldn't gather it at the second attempt. Darling's tackle is deemed high. Advantage is going to be paid. Tigers are away. Mitchell gives chase, but all to no avail. Now, Martin's dropping well back here. He's on his own, and he's going to get it. Traps it beautifully. Swings around now, snaps it towards goal, and kicks a sensational goal. <laughs> Dusty at his brilliant best. That was a great rebounder, and he's missed about four or five kicks in a row, Dusty. But when the goalposts uh, beckoned, he did not uh, miss out. There's the free kick. Great applause from the, the Tiger faithful, but he started with his head low, and uh, this is the danger of having Dusty in the back line by himself. He's got this. As long as the kick's good, and it was, could have been slightly better, he's going to be dangerous. What about the audacity of Dusty Martin? One, to take that kick from there, but two, the, the kick wasn't absolutely perfect, so he patted it down like yeah. a basketball, knowing that no matter where it bounces, he's going to gather it. It was an excellent finish. Yeah, great and take. Maybe just a lift the Tigers are searching for. Cochin quickly forward. Shepard slung out of it in the end and held just a little bit too long. Yeah, a little bit stiff, I thought, there. But Cochin's a danger man at these clearances. He really is getting them going. Gaff, send it wide for Marston. Bit of hard running out to the wing. It's through the fingertips of Redden. And he'll get a free kick. He dropped the mark. But Vlosten was committed to the spoil and just punched him in the back of the head. I suppose you've got to give it for for that. <laughs> not in the old days, though, Sandy. No, definitely not. Hearn or McGovern to try and create a handball to Redden. Now Marston under pressure, just on the boot. Wobbles it to the 50. Giles controlled it down for Lacroix. Now Prudis quickly onto the boot, into the pocket. Kennedy wrestling there with Asprey. Asprey's got a problem. Hutchings emerges with it. He'll snap it back, trying to bend it. Oh, quite far enough. Well, they've generated a lot of opportunities, the Eagles, but they are just not in on their game inside forward 50 at 2-9. They're doing to Richmond what St Kilda did to them last week, giving them a chance. Hooley. Wide to the outer side. Rewalt. Ironic cheers going up from... Uh, the fans from Punt Road. He goes down the line. It's wide. Barras will affect the tackle. Not before the hand pass is on. In towards the forward line now. Hutchings was there. Couldn't take it cleanly. Shot out wide. And eventually picked up by Lambert. Back to Hooley again. In towards full forward. That's better. And the mark is taken there by Greg. Sean Greg. 48 metres out to the top of the square. One, two grabs, three grabs, no mark taken. Yeah. 
Yeah, he moved into that head high tackle. He did set lead with his head. It was a really good opportunity for the Tigers because they had Caddy up against Gaff. It was a one-on-one -on -one that if the kick had been good and they isolated them and picked it up, identified it, they could have got a shot for goal. And now we've got 50. So it's bringing Gaff down almost to the middle. Well, Kennedy's given a good lead. He's too late to he pick it up. thought about Gaff. Hearn. He's thinking of Hearn. He's going to know he's going to go back even further. There's a win by Barris. the Tigers here, forcing him back to Hearn. Short. And out of trouble for the moment. This is Yo. Go. Players streaming down the ground. One of them is Wellingham. Still. Eventually gets the hand pass away. Jeddick hits in towards full forward. Prittis was at the back. Doesn't matter because he's got a teammate uh, and a very good one in front of him in Kennedy, who's going to pick himself up and have a shot directly in front, kicking from probably 49 metres. Well, it's a dangerous spot to square the ball to because on turnover, they are going to be exposing a lot of uh, quick small forwards, as we know, Richmond, but Kennedy was good enough. He's got two major weapons. Cheddar, and that is his pace and his kicking. And on that occasion, we saw that spot up, which was intended for Kennedy. Good kick. 49 metres out. Good, Good kick looking out. kick. That saves them from going for, to 210. Instead, they're 3 9, which sounds much better. <laughs> Inside 50s, 26 to 17, for only a one goal lead. Albeit six scoring shots. But the Tigers are hanging in there. Good mark, just outstretched his opponent, read the ball a little bit better in flight. Well, it certainly is a key matchup today. You can see them going head to head. Dustin Martin and Sam Mitchell. Might go a long way to deciding this one. Out of the middle, here is Martin on cue. He sends it wide looking for Ellis. Sat for him initially. It was an interesting looking handball. In fact, it was a throw. So the free kick goes to West Coast and Andrew Gaff. Looking for an option inside 50. And he sends a high ball into the pocket. Giles is the tall target. Foston across with the spoil. Hutchings waiting down. Cripps. In the pocket, tucked up, he snaps it back, but there's nobody there. Gee, it's the blinkers. Oh. The bounce will favour Hill, though. He's tackled, and it's bubbled over the line. Should never take a possession there, Hill. It needed to be the tap over the back. He had a couple of spares. Just put the binoculars on Josh Kennedy, and it's the second kick that Andrew Gaff's had, and he's ignored the Kennedy lead, and he has absolutely ripped him to pieces behind play. Long kick by Hawley back into play. Here's Rioli trying to bust through one, two, three, just to create some room. Yeah. Prestia gets it on to Butler, who loves to run with it, tucks it under the arm. He just pokes the kick oh. to Stagner. He's crushed by Hearn. It was great courage to go back. He's, he's paid the mark. No, he paid the push. He said he didn't mark it, he's paid the push. Had he deemed he's marked it, and then that contact. Well, the Tigers play on and spot up Hooley. Inside 50. You heard Ray come in and say, did you pay the mark? Because Ray would have Ray would have given a 50 on top of it. That's still going on. Shuey sure picks himself up after a little tangle with Butler. Having said that, I don't think Shannon Hearn had any real malice in him. No, he, he pulled up. He did the right thing. But the bigger concern is that Rioli just walked through three tackles. And that was a brilliant play by him. Asha Hawley. Looking for a more consistent season in 2017 after battling injury last year. Kicked a goal last it? week, and he's kicked a goal this week as well. Hawley on the board for the Tigers. I dare say that ball passed his hand and not over it. The man on the mark being... That, that's the incident which led to a little frag. I loved how Butler took him on through the middle as well and just burnt them off. Nelson on the mark for that set shot. Ball passed side onto his hand. 
35 career goals for Bashahuli. There's Rioli, who took them on so in the middle. The speed's having a real effect, isn't yeah. it, for the, for the Tigers? Butler in particular. Yeah. A couple of 4 O's. Party winning it. And perhaps a high tackle by Cochin. It is deemed high. Redden. Uh, open lead. So a little too easy. Yeah. Hutchings down there. There was meant to be a natural change over there, and it wasn't picked up. Let it go. Let it go. Well, he plays on quickly to Let Wellingham. A lot of whistles going on. It's <laughs> like being in a police barracks at the moment. Something with all those whistles. It's extraordinary. The bottom line is it was a behind as Hurley brings it back into play. Boston with a long kick up to half back and the Tigers out the back. Lennon decided not to take possession. Barris. We'll go short and wide and he spots up Gaff. Nice West selection. Coast can try and move it quickly. Yo, he tucks it under the arm. He could just about go from here. Oh. From just outside 50. A long attempt, but to the near side. Oh, Jared was winding up then for the old hippie eye. <laughs> just left of the stick. <laughs> The Tigers under pressure, bringing out a defence. Ellis will see it out for a boundary throw in. There's just something about the Eagles, Dermot, that isn't gelling at the moment. Correct. They don't look as if uh, they're fully on top of their game, and the Tigers are doing a great job to uh, stick around, and uh, if they don't put them away, they're going to be very dangerous uh, in the second half. For me, even though Kennedy looks dangerous against Asprey, for me it's inside defensive 50, the Tigers uh, they've got a pat on the back, their defensive six at the moment, they're holding up under great pressure. And Clark crashed through and it spills to Martin. Now Cochin with the short pass Castagna can keep it moving. This is where they're dangerous. When they yeah. rebound hard off this half-back line. And Butler trying to use his pace again. Put McIntosh under pressure. Nelson trying to rip it out of there. And he's wrapped up well by McIntosh oh. and holding the ball. What do you think of his new role, Dermot? He was back pocket in round one. Lost his spot in round two. And he's back as a high forward. <laughs> they tried him in a few spots. Goes wide for and Curvis. Harris there, and Curvis kept his feet well, and he swings it inside 50, but a poor kick, and chopped off by Redden, and he'll send it out wide for Wellingham. Good run here by Cripps to give an option. Cripps is the target on the wing, Foston right there with him, Cripps back to his feet quickly, and a couple of Tigers, he just dribbled a kick backwards for Shuey, it might actually work out okay, Shepard for Cripps again, and the Eagles can go to half forward, and Darling's on the lead, and he'll be... Paid the free kick for the top of the arms. One on one, Kennedy. It's a terrible kick. They have slaughtered the ball, the Eagles. Kennedy's been given no favours by his teammates. But once again, you've got to take your hat off to the Tigers back six, are holding up under superior numbers of inside 50s. Well, a three up there. Yeah, three up. Darling will get the free kick. Communication breakdown for the Tigers. And Jack Darling has an easy shot. 25 out, almost directly in front. This to stretch the Eagles' lead to nine points. And he has. Darling gets his first goal. The Eagles lead by nine. Well, we're getting a confusion in the Tigers uh, with who's nominated, but essentially you can't have two blokes go up for the same ball. Well, Rance is not a ruckman, but he follows Darling in who competes. Elton was in front as the on-ball ruckman, so it'd be interesting if we found out and really searched through the footage, sorry guys downstairs, as to which Tiger put his hand up and nominated him. Confusion for the Tigers if one paid did the price. Nominate. If one did, in fact, yeah. nominate. Yeah. But ultimately, it's a numbers game. You can't have two blokes going for one throw-in. Richmond. Out of the middle through Martin Castagna. Oh. Quick handball and Butler pushed in the back. This 
certainly caused some headaches. As Butler, now Martin from outside 50 unloads the kick, but it's wide. We're just talking about it before, Derm, about uh, the West Coast Eagles kicking that ball long inside 50. It's because they're, they're sitting 18th at the moment in the AFL for long kicks. They're not used to it. That's why you see those balls going inside 50. They're number one, or sorry, number three in the league for short kicks. They expect that, that kick to go a little bit shorter compared to that long kick. Yeah. That's where Jed has got to come into his own because he's got such beautiful and wonderful foot skills. You want to be leading to him and you want him to lower his eyes. McIntosh. Back for Prestia. Onto the boot. He's almost closed down. No protected the football and it's called for a shepherd. It'll be a free kick to Cochin. He would have been in the end better off going for the mark himself. Cochin again, dangerous inside forward 50. And Conquer on the end of it. Martin is putting on a clinic at the clearances. He is he's had three times the amount of clearances as the next best. Certainly been a dominant factor for Richmond. And now Reese Conker. To have the shot on goal. In fact, I've robbed him. WA. He's had 11 clearances, the next best. There's a host of them on three. He's battled plenty of injuries over the last couple of seasons. Reese Conker, he'd love a goal here. Leaning back, trying to work it. But it sprays out to the right-hand side. So an important six or seven minutes now. Leading up to half-time. 29 plays, 36. The Eagles leading. Please, Dan. Play on. Told to bring it in. He eventually does to Elliot oh, Yo, who's sure. tucked in the back pocket. Yo gets plenty of height. Giles was there. So too Nan Kerbis, who in fact got a hand to it and almost completed a one-hander. Hutchings gives the hand pass away towards Lacra. Back to Hutchings again. Now Prittis, well smothered. That was done by Conker, who allows Martin to pick oh. up another possession. But it's a poor one. Jack Darling takes the mark. Simpson. Nelson. Great kick. Up towards full forward. That was a good kick. And another opportunity now for the Eagles to stretch this lead. Well, Dusty's turnover uh, was a brave kick, but... The downside was enormous as well as we are about to see. Cripps in his third game for the years kicked four goals so far in the first two matches. This for the Eagles fifth and he makes no mistake. Eagles sneak away. Gents, we've got to the bottom of this, and if you look at the bottom of the screen here, Elton and the umpire. Now, the umpire is pointing at these two, Rance and Darling, and he's saying they have nominated. But look, Elton, who is also in the circle, look what he does from here. So we let it run. The umpire's recognised the nomination. Elton just floats in over the front. He thinks I'm a ruckman, I should be going for it. So there we see Damien Hardwick on screen. They've given up a few relatively simple ones in the last few minutes. Did you think Elton knew that Rance and Co were coming from behind? No, had no idea. Had no That's idea. Problem. And yeah. the umpire was standing next to him and then pointed to them and said, so, and he obviously would have said something like, those two are nominated, and he'd call them by name. The umpires are very familiar with them. Great. Wins the clearance forward, but Nelson takes a great mark going back. And he's been important in the last couple. They need this kid to really come through because they uh, down a little bit on pace, the Eagles, and he's got plenty. Willingham evasive. And now finds Jetta, who can try and run with it now. He sends it long instead in the Darling direction. Trying to one-hand up. It was a good spoil by Floston. And now the Tigers off half back. Cochin. Wide for Rioli. McGovern will have the size. Rioli would have the speed on the deck, and he oh, beats him. him. He escapes out the back, and now shares it away with Lambert. And Lambert's kick, kick to Castagna is excellent. Rioli, well done. Well, that's their issue. It's their speed. If they don't get it in the air, the Eagles, they're vulnerable. Interested in your thoughts uh, down with Jack Darling, though, Dermot, as a centre forward. He just uh, he, he, he wrestles but doesn't get separation. The kick drew the Tiger defender towards him as well. Still like to see him come at the footy, even with his size and his frame and his ability to jump. If he demands the ball, 
10 metres further out from goal. He's still going to cover that on a set shot journey. Playing just his eighth game, Jason Castagna. The shot on goal, the Tigers need it, and he has converted. Well, Rioli has just become a terrific player, hasn't he? Yeah. That move, uh, dance step just inside of McGovern was superb. As we take a look at the lead up, there's the kick. Uh, Pretty much to advantage, but this is where he's at his very best. Gets the ball back inside and uh, delivers a nice gift. Rear ends up in a goal to, well, call me George. <laughs> Rioli esque. <laughs> a handy one for the Tigers. With only three and a half minutes remaining in the half. I'm the loving lead. the fact that Butler's playing his third game, Castagna's playing his eighth, and Rioli's playing his 21st, and they are the most dangerous forwards on the ground. Yeah. Good to see the youngsters coming to the fore. Here's Rance defending grimly. They don't want to give away another couple of goals now before half-time. Cochin goes wide to the outer side. McIntosh is there. Nankervis is loose on the wing. The big man bend down. <laughs> and he's got it now. Gives it away. If they can get another one here, we've got a big, big second half coming up. In towards full forward. Big fly from him. Couldn't take the mark. Wasn't the only one. Recovers. Gets a high ball. In towards full forward. Shuey well, underneath, read it beautifully. He did, it was moving uh, through uh, the air sideways and he read it well. Hearn gives it away, now the Eagles out of strife for the moment. Mitchell, short little chip, is it too short? No, it was absolutely perfect for Cripps. Inside kick with Kennedy, they've just got a little bit of tunnel vision at the moment. Over the head of Hooley, he did get a hand to it. Kennedy gives it off towards Prittis, who goes wide at a gaff. Unsure, he elects to go short eventually. Still outside 50, Jack Darling. Come at him. That's what he's calling for, and that's what he gets. And now an opportunity for the Eagles with Jetta to go back and have a shot. 45 degree angle, but only 30 metres out. Once you've got a bloke with the ball, who's got the, the ability from a set shot, a stable kick, he sits there for three or four seconds. As a forward, you know he's demanding you to come back at him on the lead. Interesting history for Jetta. Tending if anything to miss to the right. Slow, deliberate approach. Again. And he's Not missed the to the right again. You, you, you called it there. Slow, deliberate approach. But when you see that beautiful field kicking from Lewis Jetta, he's at blistering speed. speed. Yeah. And then he just takes a, a, a metre of that pace off and kicks it sweetly. He needs to replicate that almost in his... A set shot strategy. Instead of thinking too much about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Shepard tackled strongly and it lingered too long. Dangerous tackles being paid. So a dangerous tackle as you spotted Jared. And go in favour of Shepard. Let's play on. Now he steps around and he hooks the kick into the pocket. Plenty of eagles down there. Oh. Darling hands to it. Rance. Did well to control it. Now Conker, evasive. Oh, well done. Trying to create. And Fast break is killing the Eagles. Back uh -huh. through the corridor go Richmond. Hawley, now he's got Rioli in some space. He looks up. Not too much to kick to inside oh. 50, so he goes sideways. Still time, Ellis just pokes it short and rewind. They are just labouring back here at the Eagles. They get all their numbers forward. They've got a little bit one-dimensional, trying to get somebody to take a pack mark. If it hits the deck... They are so vulnerable, it's uh, a concern for them playing on this ground. Do you think the Tigers have been told, no long bombs in if you can help it? Anything forward to the centre cannot be in the air for more than three seconds. Big kick this one for Jack Rewalt. Not much time remaining in the first half. He strikes it nicely, but it hooks away. And just to behind. I think they've uh, no doubt they're trying to make this a ground ball game. Yep. The superiority of the Eagles in the air is uh, immense. And they've come in with a strategy. Get the ball on the deck. Let's run it. And let's see how they enjoy running up and back into defence. And they're not doing it well at the moment, the Eagles. Seven points again the margin now as Maston goes to Paras. Out of side. Nelson coming inboard to Shuey. 
Shuey wide. I think the clock's going to beat them uh, in this quarter. Shuey, Shuey with 12 possessions. It's, it's not a bad return, but if they are to win this game, they need the runners like Shuey really carrying the ball in their favour. So half-time here at the MCG. West Coast Eels are leading, but only by seven points. But he doesn't take enough marks and kick enough goals uh, to absolutely have a mortgage on that. And I've always thought he could go up onto a wing. He could uh, go into the middle of the ground like Roughhead does. He could go onto the half-back line and do uh, play a totally different role and get another speedster in that forward half to add to their chasing capacity and their running capacity. So a big second half for both of these sides as they look to remain undefeated in season 2017. High bounce in the middle. Vardy got a good run at it. Koch and tried the toe poke. Pritis, he just had the arm held there by Martin. And we'll get a ball up. Yep. 18 scoring shots to 11 in the first half. In favour of the Eagles, here's Butler. Sending one to the 50. Yo led Rewalt to it, then he was tackled and lost it. Lambert crunched by a couple. Rioli crafty at ground level. Was he held out of it? Prestia, Shepard diving on top of the football. Rioli still causing some headaches. And we'll get another stoppage. It's another day after half time. We're clouded over now and overcast. Rain on the way, yeah. Saw the radar a few moments ago. It doesn't look like there's much there at the moment, but there is a big front that could potentially hit late in the game. And the Eagles have just got the uh, goalkeeper, Wellingham, just sitting off the pack. McGovern taking in a tackle. He held the ball in. Another ball up. And right at the top of the screen between the goalpost and point post is Rance goalkeeping at the other end. Pritis's clearing kick didn't do that. And it's intercepted by Conker. He's just going to lay it up towards the top of the square. Grigg is there, but too many tall targets and an easy, almost uncontested mark in the end to Vardy. Been a good recruit, Vardy. Slowly finding some really good form. Maston. The thing is with Todd Elton then, he gave a seven or eight metre lead. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Wasn't used and then couldn't work back to where the ball was eventually directed to. Really disappointing kick. So an opportunity now for Vlostan. Goes long and direct in towards full forward. Big pack of players once again. And it's Cochin who leads the way to the boundary line. Nomination's complete. Todd's got it right this time. He's yes. right on top of it now, dude. <laughs> Prittis gets the hand pass away. The Eagles defending Grant. Oh, only as far as Grimes, who goes laterally. It's going to be OK. Conquer again. In the wards of the pocket region. The diving mark is taken by Elton. It's brilliant footy by the Tigers uh, from the intercept mark from Grimes. Good disposal going round the circle. I always thought, Jared, and you obviously back to your older days playing with Melbourne, I always thought this was the best pocket at the MCG to score a goal out of. I just felt it wasn't that deep. It felt, you felt all right running in from here. Let's see what the 23-year-old like Dandenong thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. You, you've got to strike the boot. <laughs> and it's, it's been a sloppy day for both sides. Uh, it is blustery down there, but the, I'm not sure it's a big enough excuse for the amount of kicking that has gone awfully astray. That's probably the biggest miss of the year so far. He almost missed his foot. Hearn to the outer side. Once again, big pack of players waiting. Shuey was waiting down the front. He's able to give it to Gaff. It's a hurried kick down towards the wing. Tigers would dearly love the next one. It's not going to happen at the moment. Storming away as Hutchings in towards full forward. Cripps is there. Can he well recover? Defended. That's brilliant. Uh, that was Vlosten who did so well, and he hasn't finished yet. Vlosten gets another opportunity. Goes short. That's OK. Tigers out of trouble through Griggs off to Cochin. Cochin has a look downfield and he ambles away out of defence. Back to Grigg who's loping with him. Finally onto the left boot going down the line. Target is Rewalk. Put up the one hand. It wasn't enough. 
And Yo has got to do the tidying up. And controls the kick to McGovern. That velocity and repulsion, once again, inside defensive 30, the Tigers' deep defenders have saved them. McGovern called to go. And he was putting himself under pressure with the kick in the end because he didn't have many options. Cochin, always evasive. He wants to go back through the middle of the ground. And he'll share it with Grimes. Patient build-up here from Richmond. And Ellis on short. That's the way he'll go. Now they can create the overlap. And Curvis. Not much movement ahead of him, though. That's all right. They're owning the footy here. Don't give it up easily now, though. That's the problem. Has to kick to a contest, but it might work OK. Ellis had fingertips to it. Conker now wrapped up by Darling. And we'll get a ball up. But even if you look at that screenshot right now, you've got two Tigers against four Eagles. So it's a pretty big win there for the Tigers to just get a nil-all draw ball up out of that. It's got very overcast at the MCG. Clouds rolling in. Shuey just got the handball away. Mitchell spun in the tackle, but he got it back for Marston. Now Shuey. And overcooked the kick to Darling. Grimes. Conker. Ellis. Now Hawley. Back for Ellis. He's got a free man in the centre square. He sets it up high, and Grigg can take the mark and go. He sends it wide. Bouncing ball. Butler's quick. The foot races on. He goes strong, and he fists the ball to the boundary line. Stand. It will. And Oops. he leaves it behind. Butler arriving quickly. Richmond now have the numbers advantage. Hawley. He had to go for it. And a free kick's going to be paid for a hole. Well, Elliot Yo. Rolled the dice. He was on rewild, one out. He read the play and uh, he infected almost a perfect rebound. Yeah. Stagner has got it. And he's just got to hook it high to the top of the goal square. Looking for the flyers. Rewild flew. Couldn't complete it. Shuey at ground level. Hearn had to create the handball to Wellingham and eventually they find the boundary line. Good umpire in there. Let that one roll on. Wellingham appeals to the head height. Richmond appeal the holding the ball. This look really dangerous at the moment, the Tigers, Dermot. They're Don't running they? on the uh, ground a lot better. There's, a, there's a much more spark about their game, despite the fact they're trailing. Martin tries to bullock his way through. Unsuccessful. Little flick in towards full forward. Goes over the top. Was it touched? It's touched it inside. I was about to say they just need to get a shot out of the corridor. Here the umpire believes it was touched, but just wants confirmation. Yeah, they, they can't get a guilt-edged shot at goal out of the corridor. That was a rushed shot. This is going to go close. No, that's behind. Just for our new rule learners, the ball must completely pass to the outside, the extremity of what is the white line or the Review invisible line confirmed. between the posts. It's great defence. So, just the one behind. One on one. Sadly for Reese Conker. Good. Hearn straight down the middle. Darling and Kennedy both there. Fisted down in front where all the Tigers. Cochin gets a hurried kick. Just putting them inside 50. Forced to defend was Shepard who punched it clear. Flipped round the body towards Rioli. One grab. Couldn't take it. Shepard there once again. Rioli does really well. Keeps it in play. Gets it back. Tucked in the pocket. Banana. Oh. Sensational play from Rioli. And this might be the spark that lights the Tigers. Really dangerous. Really dangerous are the Tigers right now. But we've just witnessed some magic there. That, yeah. that is just brilliant football. That will be in the reckoning for goal of the year. I know there's always some great goals. But he's chased it from the spine. Yeah, the entirety of this play is phenomenal. He's involved in that passage of play. Wins it against two. Gets it back. And then somehow threads the ball from your favourite pocket, Dermot. <laughs> well, if you've ever seen a goal that could inspire a victory, that was it. Yep. Somewhere around the eastern suburbs is a bloke with a similar surname called Cyril saying, the brother's coming along all right. I know the brotherhood of the, the Riolis. Yep. Oh, gee, he looked every bit of... A Morris, a Cyril, he was just electric then. A magic goal from Rioli. And the free kick out of the middle goes West Coast way, but Rance has got his name on that. 
Look out, this could be the charge. And they look up and about at the moment, the Tigers. Rance, spot up. Got the spear man on the wing, it's Rewalt. Dusty. And Rioli short, Martin is long. Got the sit there, McGovern comes to help. The spoil down, Rioli sweating there on Shepard. And we'll get a boundary throw in. <laughs> well done to Shepard getting back, that was... Uh... It's a game now. It's a uh, game on for sure, Dermot. They've got a sniff here, the Tigers. Lights on. Still looking laboured are the Eagles, Sandy. That's the word. Giles with a hit out down. Gaff under pressure from Cochin. Prudis bounced off his chest, flicked it on the red and had it a long time, then dropped it, holding the ball. He broke the tackle, but he lost the grip on the ball, which means it was an incorrect disposal. Rewalt's tackling prowess on show again. It's been a feature of his game this season. Waiting for Nankervis to get down there. Sends it high in the Nankervis direction, but Giles stands tall. I think against the Eagles, that's a really dumb kick. Because they, if it wasn't Giles, it was going to be McGovern. You've got to back your ground level players. Gaff's turned it over short. His handle and as far as Nelson for West Coast. He's gang tackled by a couple of Tigers. And the pressure is red hot at the moment from Richmond. Boys, what I've been impressed with with, uh, with Richmond's defensive pressure, West Coast have only had three marks this quarter so far, which has gone for seven minutes. Ryan Lake on the boundary line. Mitchell slung. Touched over the line. Gee, they're an exciting team. The emotion that the Tigers supporters make when the Tigers get on a roll and they sniff a win. It's just exciting to be here. Well, Seeing the whole, the whole entity. And Dermot, a feature of Richmond 2017 has been their tackling pressure. Yeah, right from the start. Led by the kids up the front half and also Jack's... Uh, Jack Revolt has towed the line as well. He's led the way. Here's Brandon Ellis to send them into attack again. Flat looking punt kick. Everyone really caught there. Rewalt now tries to get it towards Cochin. He takes it back again. Rewalt. McIntosh. Back into full forward. Rioli's lurking, but he's not on his own there. Castagna was there as well. Oh. Suck it off the ground by Cochin. <laughs> It was low percentage. It would have been great if it came off. <laughs> yeah, threatening though, Jared. Threatening. Oh, they are threatening. And they're, uh, they're playing in their forward 50 in this turn. And here comes the rain. The big South Westerly changes on the march. <laughs> and it's not wasting any time either. So the Tigers, they've hit the front. Yeah, important to get some score on the board now if that rain is going to hit a little bit later on. West Coast under siege. Hearn. Has to kick long to a contest. Now Curvis crashed the pack. Crashed into his own man in Conker. She. Free kick coming back to West Coast. Ridden taken high. Got to find some run from somewhere here, yeah. the Eagles. They are really getting slaughtered in that area. Shuey and Gaff need to actually come to the fore in that department. As does Redden and Nelson and Jetta. Redden goes long looking for Giles. Oh. Rance over the top for the great mark. And he plays on. That's the sidestep hill in the end. Conkart tried the shimmy and managed to shrug Shuey. Hill's got to find another level as well. The bump instead of the tackle twice there. McIntosh to Rewalt. McGovern almost pulling that one down. The Tigers pressure immense. And holding the ball's the decision. Again, the pressure of the Tigers creating an opportunity. Now here's Lennon. And he's going to send it long. Looking for a high flyer in the pocket. Harris is up. Rewalt there with him and Gaff waiting down. West Coast struggling to get it forward of centre at the moment. McCrane has had to throw the boot at it. And unfortunately for the Eagles, it rolls out of play. We're on the ropes right here now, Dermot. The Eagles, they look flat, they look tired. There's no run. Well, they can't get the ball forward to the centre. Look at the inside 50s. And that tells a story itself on the throw-in. Giles pushing down the front. Prudis is there, so to Gaff and so to the boundary line. Shallow the throw in. Mitchell gets caught. Martin takes advantage. Short little passes of Jim. Now Rioli's going to be dangerous here because McGovern's meant to be minding him. To stand the short again. Martin shoots for goal. Dusty wow. does it again. He's got two. And the Tigers 
Roaring clear. Short entries inside forward 50 for the Tigers again. They refuse to, on these occasions, kick the ball long. See McGovern there, number 20. Rioli's trying to pull him out. And that's where he wants to be, within striking distance of even that chip-up pass. He's lost there. They're pulling the Eagles' defence apart. Keep the dust inside forward 50. That's the answer. Dustin Martin having a big game, Jerry. Well, he's having a lot of... He's having a real uh, influence around stoppages and inside that forward 50. That's his... Uh, Absolute goal at the present time. And the Tigers are making their move in this third quarter. Vardy won the hit out. And the clearance will go Richmond's way. Cochin, handball wide, missed short. Prittis in to win it, oh. take it home. That's the second time Caddy hasn't got low enough into a tackle. Hill, heels wide. Oh, great spoil by Floston. Now Good. Gaff. High ball into the pocket. Kennedy and Rance in the one on one. Rance with the spoil. Good tap. Knocked onto Hill. Now, fit inside of Hutchings. Lecrac and Steady. Usually crafty from this position. And there's the goal the Eagles were looking for. They came from some magic. Tap on. The tap on was absolutely superb. Two goals now for Mark Lecrac. Not a great kick from, from Gaff when he just sky balls it once he gathers here on the left foot. He'll just run to his, our right. And here comes the tap, Dermot. There's a loose ball there. And there it was, Shuey. Shuey. The man who's normally on the end of taps shows that it's not that difficult to tell him for Ruckman. Let him show you how to do it. Two goals to Lacra. Richmond now. The margin, one point in the Tigers' favour. Back in the middle, Vardy. Down to Prittis, tumbling to half forward onto the chest of Kennedy. Oh, that was a really poor setup by Richmond at the centre bounce. Overconfidence. Mitchell walked around the back of the stoppage to pick up Cochin. And by doing that, dragged a player with him and it just exposed Prittis to get the easy, easy crumb and just kick it forward. It wasn't a great kick either. It was a tumbler, but when you play in front, you uh, get the benefit. Well, these are the ones they cannot afford to miss. Directly in front, 50 metres out. And he has a big, big goal for the West Coast Eagles. To keep them in it, 7-13, plays 7-8. They lead by five. Great response by the Eagles when they were headed. They've uh, kicked the last couple, but as you said, Dermot, it was a uh, really poor centre clearance. Poor setup by the Tigers, yeah, to up. defend it. A nice tap. No pressure uh, out the back. Speaking of clearances, though, Dustin Martin is one shy of his world record of 14 oh. for clearances. It's been a seesawing contest in terms of momentum in this one. West Coast have wrestled the lead back. Well, it's looking, a couple of quick goals. Adam is looking real murky out there over the Great Southern Stand. Uh, the rain might be coming in. The lights on and taking effect. Vardy in the middle, knocking it down. Cochin with a clearance for the Tigers. Gaff had to wait for it. It was crutched by McIntosh. Kept it moving the Tigers' way. McIntosh fighting for it again. Now it's locked in under Nelson. And he might be in trouble. He was hatching it and he's gone. Been done for a couple of holding the balls. 50 to 50 to 50. Decisions today, Nelson. Rick's got the free kick. It's a good kick, but he hasn't got this journey. He needs to set this up to advantage. And then Curvis gets to the top of the square. Looking around for some options. And he's Greek. From long range. He lines up. And oh, what a, a kick. kick. <laughs> he got the distance easy in the end. And the Tigers bite back. Sandy, I eat my hat. <laughs> he hit it beautifully, didn't he? And got some real momentum running up to the man on the mark. Well, it's a good entry, and then it was a really good finish. So another goal for the centre clearance.
goal for goal at the moment, but make the most of it because that's what's uh, just outside the MCG. That's looking biblical. It is. <laughs> She's just spinning the magnets in the middle here. The Tigers, they are throwing almost every player into the centre, and that's got to come back. back. Yeah, but they always have Cochin in there. Well, this time it's pressed you with uh, Dusty. And Martin with 13 clearances is uh, dominating this area of the game. So take two. Vardy takes on a couple. I reckon last week that was paid uh, holding the ball. Pr prior opportunity has been relaxed enormously this round. Fortunately. Yeah. Still in the middle. Third time lucky, perhaps. Both forward lines are holding. Oh. Pretty much one on one all around the ground at the present time, Dermot. But yeah. Both teams are holding a, a six man oh. forward line. Martin stood his ground there and didn't like the attention from Vardy. So the Tigers go deep into attack again. McGovern. Martin's kick. McGovern was a huge fly. Couldn't complete the mark. Towards the boundary line, kept in by Grigg, gives it away at the hurried kick that goes across the face of goal and be out of bounds. Left forward pocket. Down to the boundary line, Brian Lake. Leggy. Boys, the rain has just started now. Yeah, as you can see in the crowd, that's when you can tell the rain's coming. Everyone's just bolted for shade and uh, for cover. So hopefully I've got my little man here with an umbrella because I'm going to get about to get soaked right now. Enjoy. Throw in Vardy with the right hand. No one clean. Martin down, but not out. An excellent smother. The ball remains in the vicinity. Jared, does, does, it suit, Yo. does it suit the experienced bigger bodies of the Eagles? Or does it, does it suit that agile, nimble, fast pace forward for the Tigers? It's a good question, Dermot. Uh, give me another 30 minutes and I'll let you know the answer. <laughs> Wellingham goes towards Gaff. There's no doubt, though, they've lifted in these last five minutes, the Eagles, and they needed to. They were on the mat. They weren't uh, working at all, and they were being shown how to do it by a hungrier Tiger outfit. Jenna yeah, not too happy either. No, you, you know what? When you play against teams and you see opponents scream and argue with each other like that, you almost felt like you were halfway yep. there to dismantling them. The Tigers leading it by a point. As that one's poked forward. And we'll get the throw in. Two coaches. Damien Hardwick hoping for a big year. So much pressure always on the Tigers. And Adam Simpson hoping for big things this year. They were together in the same box at Hawthorne as assistant coaches. One will be undefeated in a short time. It's Cochin taken high. And a free kick to the Tigers. the two Brownlow medalists from 2012 out there this afternoon. Sam Mitchell, of course, playing for West Coast this season, and Trent Cochin. Smart kick from Prudis. Found its way through to Redden. Nothing ahead. Shuey, Prudis. And off the side of the boot. And out of bounds on the fork. So not much going right for the Eagles. Yeah, Kennedy was too far away to be a viable target. And Darling was camped underneath it. Held up by Rant, so just elected to look for something to unfold rather than hit it down the line. Further discussion, Dermot, between mids and forwards. Uh, a little bit of blame game going on. With the Eagles? Yeah. yeah. So we've got the boundary throw in in the end as Cochin quickly up to half forward. Yo had to keep it moving in front of him. Quickly taken by Cochin. Stagner got an important touch in there. Now the race is on for it. McGovern went hard, but left it for McIntosh. In trouble, Caddy. Back for McIntosh. Here's Dusty. A quick snap to goal. It's a high one. It's going to stay in play in the end. Two Tigers spoil each other. And Hearn, off the last line, can clear it. Wellingham now. The kick out of defence has to be good. It's knocked away from Cripps. Now by Conker. It's one of the best games I've seen Reese Conker play. Well today. He's read the incoming ball. He hasn't totally been manned up against Cripps the whole time, but he's read the flight of the ball really well and peeled off when necessary. So from the throw in. No one clear. Look at Prittis. Well, 
Richmond have got Brisbane yeah. next week. And then Melbourne and the Crows. The Eagles have got Sydney. Then Hawthorne. Then Fremantle. So a big three weeks coming up for each of these clubs. And letting it go for an eternity. Eventually flicked out as Wellingham got the hand pass away initially. Now an opportunity for Nelson to go longer in towards the middle. That's excellent play. Running into problems with Shepard. There's a player down behind play too. We'll keep an eye on that as Rance went in hard. Couldn't come out with the Lost footy. Lost him down. Lost him down. Thank you, Dirk. Oh, that's 50. And he looks no. to have a problem. Lost him. Oh, big lightning. strike of lightning. Not there, but... And thunder. I think it's here. <laughs> In the meantime, Brandon Ellis goes wide to the outer side. And it will spin towards the boundary line and there's over. There's enough the oven season. Enough of a problem here with Nick Loston now. For, oh, the accidental forearm. There's enough of a problem here. They should stop play. There's five train, four trainers around him. Yeah. He's back on his feet, but the blood rule is the call. Yeah. So it will allow him to get off the ground. He's got a hard head, that lad, isn't he? And tough. He's played a good game, too. Doing plenty of work in defence for the Tigers. <laughs> How quickly has the weather changed? It's Melbourne. This yes. afternoon. <laughs> that can be four seasons in one day, but it has rolled in extremely quick. Just while we get a bit of a break here. The Tigers are having a real win in the coaches' box here because Eagles can't play two intercept defenders on the ground very much at one time. They've got him out there now, Tom Barris, and also McGovern, because the, the Tigers aren't kicking the ball in long and high. So you've got two blokes who like to zone off, whereas they need defenders who will chase up on the lead. Got to do something about this bloke for clearances. Martin just working it away from the stoppage yet again. Castagna, and he's able to find a way through. And Curvis now for Ellis. The Tigers building. McIntosh will mark it at the edge of the centre square. He looks up, but he drives it long to the top of the square. Revolt with the one hand. Yo waiting down. Left it behind again. It's toe poked away. Is it in danger? And he's Conker. Dribbling kick. Not good that time. Butler. Well played. Left it behind. Yo was strong over the footy. But there was nothing up the wing. And the Tigers can send it back in again. Controlling it. Rance. Wide for Nankervis. Hardy was closing quickly. Now the kick inside 50 is a beauty yeah. from the Ruckman. And Castagna on the lead takes them up. So that's exactly what I'm saying. You've got two peel off defenders who like to intercept the ball that's in the air for three and a half seconds, so a 50 metre kick. But you really need players who can chase out the leading forward and spoil on the lead. So they're, they're down two, really, because Richmond will not release that long, high sky ball. Yeah, excellent game so far for Castagna. Already got one goal. Part of the three amigos in the forward line for the oh. Tigers, and he's kicked it into the man on the mark. Still alive, though, for Richmond. Giles under pressure. Had to squeeze it wide. Ellis can gather. And he pokes it into the pocket and rewind on the lead this time. Same again, a lead up on Tom Barris. It's your pocket, dude. Yeah, love it. He loves it too. You know that. I think he'll kick this. <laughs> you know what happens when you give a bloke yeah. a rap, as Louis used to say. <laughs> don't, Jared. don't. I'm trying to find some support for my co-commentator here. <laughs> prepared to go down with him. So Rewalt still searching for his first goal of the afternoon. He's been about oh. the place, and this one is out of bounds on the full. You're going to just go out and stand on the mark, Jared. <laughs> Boys, Nick Vlossen's just gone down the race, so you expect that would require stitches. He sat on the bench for a couple of minutes, and obviously can't tape it, going down to get it stitched up. Thank you, Brian. Brian Lake. Yep. Premiership player, Norm Smith medalist on the boundary line. Redden goes to the outer side. Ellis, out of the way to Nank Curvis. Didn't go in very far. Prittis couldn't control it. Head high. There's a high tackle. Yeah, just Matty Prittis would take it. It's a yeah. major, major challenge here for the Eagles. They're playing really poor football. The Tigers are playing pretty well without trying to, uh, without getting uh, super uh, 
scored consecutive goals on too many occasions, but when you're playing your, at your almost your worst, to eke out a win, yeah. it's like eight points. So a vital two and a half minutes as the rain starts to really tumble down now. It's not stopping Rance, who goes low, but that's OK. Finding Dustin Martin. He sprints away. There are Tigers running down the field, but the hand pass just a little wide. It slides over the boundary line. Well, Suddenly, Winter is at the MCG. Once again, really short kicks to her. Honoured the lead up, so they don't want McGovern and Barris to have a real effect on this game. They were predicting snow at Mount Hotham today, <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Give it time. Giles, Nankervis, Giles, Pritis gives it away. Mitchell, hurried high ball in towards the middle, bounces off the chest of Jack Darling. Shuey's claimed he was gang tackled and he's going to be pinged. Well, Grimes to take it. It's going to need someone like a Jack Darling to go from having a pretty average game to having a major influence on this contest if they're going to win because the Tigers have got the run of it. Grimes towards full forward. Here's a snap by Castagna. And kick through. Oh, sensational it play. Butts. Butler. It is little Danny Butler. Who's kicked his second goal. We'll confirm it. We'll confirm it. Daniel Wells, Mark two. Yep. No problems there. Either. No, unless it hits the hip. Nelson. No, it's clear. That's a goal. So Butler gets his second. And with just a minute and a half remaining in this third quarter, it will give the Tigers just a little bit of breathing space. They move to 9 8 62. The Eagles are 7 13 55, 1 34 on the clock. Well, it was a great goal, and uh, they've got all the momentum here. The Tigers are questioned, do we? Can they uh, find a way to get across the line? Or well, can the Eagles just manage to get enough players to lift? Because they've got a lot of guys that are down at the present time. I can't see how they're going to get it back. They're not making the ball travel quickly enough into their forward line, the Eagles. Something's going to have to give in this in the midfield here. You're going to have to stop Cochin. He's in there again. Mitchell's in front of him now. The Tigers have turned a seven-point deficit at half-time into a seven-point lead. And they want to add to that before three-quarter time. Martin with the tumbling ball to the 50. Shepard under pressure. He's had to knock it on. Now Curvis, only two by his own teammate in Lambert. Martin's kick touched and up and under. Off hands. The Tigers just seem to have the numbers around the ball. And Short's kick smothered. So minute 12 remaining in this third quarter. It's all set up for an exciting finish. Weather just throwing an extra spanner into the works. Lambert is doing a great job. He's putting a lot of time into Sam Mitchell, these stoppages. Giles, the hit out down. Here's Mitchell. Lambert right there with him again. Cochin, Martin, quick kick into the pocket. Barris with the spoil. Lambert there wrestled it away from Nelson, but the kick. It was a bit too much and out of bounds on the foot. Those little Tiger Cubs down there in the forward half, are oh, they making some problems? Tigers were the worst tackling team in the competition last year. Through the first couple of rounds, they've been the second best in the AFL. It's been a dramatic turnaround in terms of their pressure. Here's Giles, throws it on the boot up the wing. Bouncing ball. And we'll get a boundary throw in. 48 seconds. Remaining in the quarter. Richmond by seven points. Well, between the Martin and Cochin of these stoppages have had ten in this term. Won't get another one there. That could have been a high tackle on Shuey, but allowed to go on. So Mitchell goes with the left foot up towards Kennedy. Jostling, recovers well, but couldn't take it cleanly. Luke Shuey can. He's 55 out. Well done. Uh, notices a teammate in Jack Darling. Lurking alone at half forward, and he finds it. That's just brilliant vision and great delivery under pressure. Two times, once from Shuey, before that from Mitchell, who would have been so easy to continue on around the boundary, but stepped back into the mid, into the middle of the ground. That's right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Same spot as Kennedy converted. Fifth mark for Jack Darling. Twelve disposals, and looking for his second goal on the side. 
He's made a meal of that. One behind. And their woeful kicking for goal continues. And Richmond in the box seat. They go in at three-quarter time, nine yeah, Plenty of blood there for Nick Floston. Uh, Dustin Martin has been the man for the Tigers. Lorraine teaming down. Crowd is certainly ducking for cover, but we're set up for a big finish in this final quarter at the MCG. And we are underway. And Curvis with the hit out. Shuey taken high by Koch and free kick to West Coast. Major win for him because he lined up on Martin, had him covered and won it. Shuey sends it long. It's going to be a tough ball to mark. The double fist there from Rance. And then Curvis over the top. Able to grab it. Here's Martin just clearing it away. Bouncing ball through the middle. Lennon. Led them to the footy. Butler trying to escape from Mast and drag down. Hearn shoveled it back for Yo. Hot start oh. to this last quarter. Slippery football to try and reel in. Prittis back for Marston. Back for Hutchings, who will send it into the pocket again. Lacrara and Hooley both went to ground. Hooley did well to still get the spoil in there. It's tapped across now to Darling, who almost threw it up to Hill. Hill dribbles one from the pocket, but this one will be rushed through. Conquer quickly back into play. He's got the three on one, he's going to use it well. Yeah, he does. It's okay. Tense start to this final quarter. First goal, so important. So you've got McGovern down the line, and Rioli is his opponent, so he's going to charge off him. Here comes McGovern with a fist, and he smashes it over the boundary line. Now, the problem there is if the crummer in front can get a boot to it and knock it forward Richmond's way, you've got Rioli and no opponent, and a lot of room to work with with that pace. Almost down to centre wing. Giles, front spot, looking for Prittis, then the big man almost went again. Left it in the end for Gaff, who goes down the line, up towards Kennedy country. Well, uh, Grimes kick. unable to take the mark. No, no free kick. He's stiff there, Kennedy. The ball's not there. And Asprey, yeah, he's played the team game, but he pushes Kennedy away from the mark before it arrives, with no intention to go for the ball himself. Interesting matchup in the Eagles' uh, back line. McGovern with Rioli. Well done, Conk. Got out of there somehow. He's having a, a good, good game. Tap by Nank Curvis, too. Uh, up towards uh, Lennon. Needs a kind bounce, doesn't get it. The Eagles have a nest of players there. They've got to be careful. Yo, Maston. So much handball. Comes wide. Barris tries to guide that down the line just keeps it in play but then it spins over Giles head and another throw in. Teeming rain still here at the MCG. May need to concede Dermot you can't play uh, rapid fire handball no. here with this a level of uh, downpour. It's got to be a slog now. It's you? territory you just got to get it in. Win it and get it forward. Goals suddenly like gold. Like that handball. Well, wasn't him. needed. No. Castagna down towards the 50. Rewalt jostling. Rioli got taken out of it. Hurried kick round the body by McGovern. In towards the middle. Everyone letting it bounce, then it's spiked. Eagles have the numbers, but they need the next goal. Up towards the 50. Grimes soccers away. Gains probably 25 metres. They chase for the ball, but they won't get there in time as it spins over the line. That's a perfect example yeah. of the overuse of handball. If he slams that on the boot, it's inside 50. He fired the handball backwards. It's a missed receive. And the ball's running Richmond's direction. Geez, that wind is uh, really getting stuck in. Tough conditions at the MCG. Shuey is clean to get the handball up to Prudis. Well played. In defence, left behind by Short. Lacra just goes off the deck. Dangerous ball here to be won. Hawley was good. Got it over his shoulder to Rance. And he'll run it out of defence. High kick towards the defensive 50. Bouncing ball for Greek. Tigers have the numbers. Butler shares it back with Lambert. Quickly onto the boot. That's going to be the go in this final quarter. Lennon attacking the ball hard. Gaff was pushed into the contest. And now Yo can tuck it under the arm and run through the middle of the ground. Sets up Mitchell a little with the handball. Quickly onto the boot. McIntosh kept it moving forward for the Tigers. And Cochin in there. Slippery conditions as Martins up and under. That will be a mark to Hearn. 
who want to go quickly. Oh, Lacrosse way out the back. Marston sends it to the top of the square. Eagles have the numbers. Rance in a three on one and he beat them. But Hawley then fumbled. Rance tried to go off the deck. Prittis is there. Ooh. Hill couldn't quite pick it up. West Coast in dangerous territory. They just can't get the kick on goal. Kennedy, Hill can't gather. Desperation from the Tigers in defence. Cotchin quickly under the boot. And he'll clear it out of defence, much to the delight of the Tiger Army. Yeah, it's an absolute cake of soap at the moment as they push it towards the line. What well a... done by Lennon. He just harassed, harassed Yo on that occasion. Keeps the ball in play. Mitchell goes to ground. McGovern goes to ground. She it's soft and clear. Look out. Now the Tigers... Oh, no, he couldn't take it cleanly. Mitchell, a good, strong bump. Wellingham went in over the top. Now the pack forms, and there'll be a ball up on centre wing. Once again, in a hard slot, Barris pulls out of the back of the pack, and Richmond have one extra at the ball. It's just a mini fumble. That's why they aren't deep inside forward 50. But, gee, the... The peeling off of the defender is hurting the, the Eagles. Giles won it but went straight to Prestia. He kicks down towards the half forward line. Barras gets the hand pass, or Barras, to Gaff. Up towards centre wing. No mark taken. Push wide. Kemp in play. Well done. And eventually over. That was short. Vlosten, we saw him leave the ground in the third quarter with a heavy blood rule. His day may be done. And Redden with Martin at this stoppage. And then Curvis wins it, taken by Gaff. Prolific winner of disposals. Good numbers back there from Richmond. Short. Mark not taken by Rioli. May get another opportunity. Spins out of trouble, gives it to Nan Curvis off to Martin. Tumbles a somewhat ugly punt. It goes onto the chest of Yo. And that another big game as Elliot Yo. They're lucky he's been down there. Yo just kicks high up the wing. Vardy flies and crunched into his own teammate. They can't get a crumb at ground level. Forward to the centre of the Eagles. Giles still picking himself up. This guy's to have the numbers. Shuey caught his teammate out of it, knocked it up towards Kennedy. In the one-on-one -on -one there with Asprey. And Hooley bumped over the line. I think they take that. As lightning strikes again just outside the G. Another stoppage here. Allows him to set up well behind the ball. Big challenge here. Just got, Tigers just got to break a line. Get it out and use their pace. Giles down for Redden. Cotchin got there first. Quickly away, but only as far as McGovern. That's that sweeper who just pulls away from the contest. Loud thunder in the background. Inside 50 West Coast. Asprey grinds the craft flashing through. Pritis involved. Kennedy after it. Taken in the tackle. And a ball up. They have to find somebody dangerous at ground level, the Eagles. Abuse. Sure, who the offender was. Sam Mitchell standing on the mark. As this one's kicked long up the wing. Tough footy to mark in these conditions. Rewalt kept it moving forward, as did Butler. McGovern tried to chop it off. Butler's handball over the head. It could unleash Rioli. He'll get he there goes. first, and he was clean. Yo, right there with him. Put enough pressure on, and that will just waft out of bounds on the full. Which is exciting every time he goes near it now, isn't it? He looks like the match winner, doesn't he? Just got, got to get the opportunity over the top handball. Set them free. Back towards centre wing. McGovern had front spot. Couldn't complete it. Gaff down. Giles up. The big man's eventually taken to ground. Shuey tries to spoon it out to throw Mitchell, but he threw it. He's got quick hands, uh, Luke Shuey. I suspect he probably handballed it, but Razor was looking for one. Mitchell and Cochin going at it. The two Brownlow medalists. You know, Cochin plays his best footy when he's aggressive. Hurley. And the ward's full forward. Now, they've got the numbers here. And Mark, well, no, not marked. And eventually it was taken through on the last line by Jetta for one behind. Well, Every I need something out of Jetta, Sandy. Yep. He's uh, having another quietish game. And they need some run and some pace. McGovern. In that opposite back pocket, just walking out now. Oh, that was a poor kick. And Brandon Ellis takes advantage of it. He gives it off to Cochin. 
It's a worm burner. It doesn't leave the ground. Goes to 25 metres. Short's in trouble. He gets taken to ground. And the umpire says, my ball. Boys, oh, is, is it a concern for Adam Simpson as well when you've got McGovern, you've got Barras, tall, two tall defenders there? Do you, do you have to put one of those, bring one on the bench because Richmond have gone with a small forward line? I reckon, Lakey, because both of them want to peel off and pull away from their opponent. Grimes doing well on the wing to win it back for the Tigers. Rance send the ball up to the 50 and Greg in best position. Congested forward line. He sends it into the pocket. Rewalt wrestling with Yo. Late spoil from McGovern saves the day. Exactly, Doom, because their opponents, they're just holding on the ground. The ball's yeah. not going to be marked in the contest at the moment. So they got, the, as I was saying, the Richmond got the small defenders, uh, small forwards there. They're just crumbling them at, at will at the moment. It comes a danger right now. No one up for the Tigers. Vardy knocked it down, but at ground level Prestia missed with the kick off the deck. Cleared out of defence by West Coast. And all overrun it. Kennedy in hard. Grimes stood tall. Trying to get the handball out. Darling. Tackled strongly by Elton. Pritis in there. And quickly up the wing on as far as Asprey. And he wants to retreat. Tigers will try and load up. Ellis has got it. He's got a couple of men on through the middle of the ground. Here's Butler. Kicked a couple of goals and had a good game. And he wants to run and carry again. And he sends it very wide for Caddy. Been quite this afternoon. Corralled by Vardy, still the kick inside 50. Rewalt there, but Barris with an important mark in defence. Yeah, strong mark, wasn't it, by Barris? And now they're away. Darling is loose, and that's where the ball is headed now. Jack Darling's got it, and Lacra is roaring into the square. He's got to get there, though. Master's got to give it to him. He goes back to Darling. Now the left foot snap goes in towards Lacra, and he takes the mark. He's going to look to play on here really quickly. I did it the hard way, but in the end, it was a brilliant kick by Darling. Yeah. Got a lot of room to run around here. Big, big kick. Here it goes, and one behind is the end result. So we have a five-point ball game. Richmond leading. Just over 11 and three-quarter minutes played, so time certainly not a factor. That was too easy to bring it out. Now right. towards centre wing and smashed over the boundary line by Nelson. Dermot, I think in the old days, if you had a bench, you'd be taking one of the tools of the to. Eagles off, like uh, Vardy, for instance, making Darling become the second ruck option, get some more run out onto the ground. You've got to get some... Some bodies passing the footy, just handball receives at least, just one handball receive and chunk it down the line. Sam Mitchell hasn't had a handball this quarter. He's, all he's done is look to get the ball forward because he understands that overuse of the ball for the Eagles will kill them in this last quarter. Vardy got a hand to it, down towards Shuey. He goes around the body, very wide, maybe too wide. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. There's a free kick for a high tackle, and it's going the way of Richmond. That's that early contact that Asprey's putting on to Kennedy, yeah. and he's talking about it now. He's hugging me, he's mauling me, and that's... His reply to that is to push off, and he pushed him too high, obviously. And well, Kennedy's kicked just the two goals. Jewel Coleman trophy winner. Up towards centre wing. Vardy was there, couldn't take it cleanly. Must Another have extra numbers at the ball, Richmond, because they're too short in the forward line. Flip back, Barras went over his head, and Rewalt was able to take the mark. Plays on now. The kick slews off the side of the boot. Tigers have still got the numbers there as they go inside 50. Rioli is at the back. He was one of the flyers. Couldn't take it cleanly. And now they're away, the Eagles. Oh, well, no. a bounce in wet weather, and he's going to get caught, McGovern. No, he eventually gets the hand pass away, but there are plenty of Tigers there, including Dustin Martin. A fend off from Martin, and he tumbles a kick forward to McIntosh. Now Elton falling to ground, and the free kick's going to come back to the Tigers. Taken high by Red. Again, McGovern, he's looking for someone down the line to give it to. There was no one obvious. And so he uh, held the ball too long. Kick long. Inside 50, McGovern backing back. He's got it again. He's got great hands in the wet. He's got great hands. Sends the ball wide. Prittis. Under heavy physical pressure there from Rance. 
Back in under the pack. Rant still fighting on. And it's over the line with Prestia. One thing with these conditions as well, boys, is uh, I don't think the guys, the players, have really understood it was going to rain today as well because a lot of blokes are slipping over right now. You would have thought they would have had the studs on or ready for half time. Jeremy McGovern was very game taking a bounce in these sort of wet weather conditions. Ball at half forward for Richmond. Martin couldn't squeeze a kick through. Jetta, Marston, Gaff. His kick off the side of the boot. And this is in a dangerous position. Caddy out to meet it. And he's got some support. Short goes back. Caddy shrugs it and sends it into the pocket. Rewalt there, McGovern as well. Dangerous position, Rioli close. Lennon as well, straight to the line. Boundary throw in. Well, the Eagles have at least reversed the clearance contest in this final quarter. It's 3-8, the eight being the Eagles. The Tigers were controlling that third term. Richmond still dominating the inside 50s. McIntosh, a quick snap, not the 15. Out of the hands of McGovern, taken by Lennon. The kick just goes straight up in the air. So many players around the football. Prestia, little handball through. Wellingham's kick smothered by Martin. Fighting in hard was Redden. Caddy's now got it. We are yet to see a goal in this final quarter. And we've got just over eight minutes to go. And really, we might need only one to decide the game. Still plenty of time, but so, so tough at the moment. Hurry kick by Master. It's going over. That's him in the back. Yeah. Darling just paddles it, taps it forward. Grimes is going to catch him. He does, but who's going to recover? Well, it's socket off the ground. Down towards Hutchings. He sees it slide through his fingers. Hurley attempts a soccer clear too. It's spinning away from the boundary line now. Use the pace, says Jetta got. Yep. And there he swings around Jetta, pulling it into the pocket, over the head of Hutchings, and too far for Darling, and out of bounds. He overkicked it, and he's going to argue the point with Chris Master. Well, it's a brilliant pickup, but again, Dermot, he doesn't take it on and take use his pace to get away. Yeah, after the pickup, yeah. Kennedy almost took it out of there, then tried to soccer it. Hutchings doesn't get a chance. Three Tigers on him, and eventually over the line. The cry goes down with a head knock. It's him falling that's created the head high contact. It's Kennedy again. Uh, the gang tackling. The pressure by Richmond has been, once again today, excellent. This is where Sam Mitchell, Pastor Williams, has been so good around these areas. Hutchings ran into him, but the play on was called. And eventually, Razor comes in and says, mine. So there's three major players around this pack now. Dusty Martin, Cochin and Mitchell. They'll have the major say. Gaff's left foot looks dangerous, but he comes to the other side. Kennedy yeah. wins it to Jetta. It goes over the top. It bounces. And Lacroix, desperate, but unsuccessful. And caught one for his trouble, too. Again. He's bleeding. He's in the walls. He's going to have to come off. Accidental knee to the back of the head. Yeah. Sammy Mitchell comes off the ground, so he'll get about two minutes and come on for the last four, you would imagine. Shuey comes back on, Prudis comes back on. In replacement of Lacra for the blood rule, so play cannot resume until Lacra gets on, or gets off because his man's already entered the field. Lacra with a couple of head knocks in the last couple of minutes. Tigers leading it by four points. Big finish coming up at the MCG. It is tight. It is tough. And the conditions. Well, it's not going out the other side. Score. Perhaps it's not going out the other side. No. <laughs> it's coming to the density of numbers out here. That's where all the players are set up. The kick falls a little bit short. Lennon. Able to get there, though, to spoil. Cotchins, quick kick, that was smothered. Martin after it, quickly onto the boot. Might be the 15. And curves to be called a play on. Lennon had it knocked out of his hands by Nelson. Nelson still going for it. And then Curvis trying to get there. Out of the air goes Martin. 
Any way to get it forward at the moment. Rioli taps it forward. Redden in the road. Yo now wrapped up. Shoving it back to Jetta, but he left it behind. Now Ellis just goes with the barrel long towards the square. Bouncing ball. Caddy, he tried the miracle. And in fact, he's kicked it backwards. It stays in play. Tigers still a chance. Prestia sliding onto it. Barris gave it up though to Butler. Greek shoving it back. Oh. Free kick is going to Against go the Jetta. Tigers' way. Oh, Jetta's had a litany of errors in the last 30 seconds. That one where he didn't beeline the ball at centre half back, Jared. And this one, he hangs on to the tackle too long and takes his opponent, Butler, to ground when the ball exits. Here's Dustin Martins. Bit of work in the middle just to get it going forward. So, so we have a look. In the box here. Now watch the ball spills free and still continues through with the tackle. Huge kick on the shoulders of Dan Butler. Playing just his third game. And he's played a good game. Got two in the book already. Oh. For his third, he's missed it badly to the right. We may not get a goal in this quarter. Peter Dacos was a wonderful kick with a very wet ball. And the secret to his success, he used to say, was just forget your normal routine and you just take two steps and hit the belly of the ball. Shannon Hearn tried to dry the ball off there before he takes this kick in. He goes straight down the middle. The Eagles need to find themselves some to use a natural goal kicker in the forward line on the ground because there's no one there at the moment. Conker gives it away to uh, 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 Coxon gives it away to Hurley, who goes wider to McIntosh. And it may be a Jetta or a Sam Mitchell, somebody who is just knows what they're doing when the ball hits the deck. McIntosh goes to a huge pack of players. Dial's got a fist to it and it heads towards the line. Well, it's a great point because you cannot see anyone in this last quarter. It's going to be an absolute rarity if it happens to take a mark, turn around and kick a set shot. It's going to be from general play, off the deck, around a corner in, in a snap situation. And Kerbis won it. Prestia tried to push it out the back door. Well, Bounces play, in towards the middle. McIntosh. Play at full forward. McIntosh again. Now he loses it. Smashed back to Martin. Tries to shrug the tackle. Almost got pinged. Hurriedly by Short in the wards full forward. You said you wanted a mark. Oh. <laughs> Close to goal. And you've got Jack Rewalt doing exactly that. Wet weather, chest mark, knew what he was doing. Bigger frame than the attacking defender coming in to, to spoil in Wellingham. So Dermot, just remind us with a wet ball. You've got to hit the belly of the ball. Dacos. Let's have a look at what Jack does. He, he just has to concentrate on hitting the belly of the ball. Goal is to date. That'll do the job. That will do the job for the Tigers. They lead by 11. It's and it's going to be almost impossible to beat from here. They've been tougher and uh, harder at the contest in this second half. And here's the lead up. There's a really critical ball before that. But the long kick came in, and Jack was in the front spot, as you should be. And he just did it magnificently. Well played, the Tigers. He's pretty happy with the goal as well. Oh, Jack they're, Ruel. they're an exciting <laughs> club, aren't they, when they get a win under their belt? Good They're celebration. Awesome. There awesome. is still four minutes to go. And West Coast, they might not be done with yet. Shuey to Mitchell, quickly inside Bounce. 50. Rance is in best position. Knocked it once and then twice. And now he's got Hawley for support. Conker, back for Hawley. Long driving kick up the wing. The Eagles have the numbers in it. Mark not completed by Shepard. McGovern now under, over the top of it. Knocks it underneath. Prestia slipped over. Pritis, Shepard. Up to Darling, but Rance, another big spoil. He loves these conditions. Marston for Shepard. Beaten to it by McIntosh. Well played, man. He has well fought hard. Now Conker had one arm pinned. He's still got his boot to the ball. Willingham with a little tight poke straight to the line. He's going to call it. Get a oh. boundary throw. <laughs> oh. It was close to him. Saw Ray waving his arm behind him, and I thought he was going to go with the deliberate sign. West Coast have won four of the past five against the Tigers at the MCG. 
So they've had a good record here against Richmond, but the Tigers inside of victory at the moment, 3.25 on the clock, but there's been a free kick given to West Coast. They must score from this 4 a forward if there to be a chance. Vardy goes wide, Lacrae's been patched up, he got Tunnel. patched underneath it. Had a good decision by Ray. He uh, certainly got a little bit tunnel. Can't afford to waste any time. Lacroix, he'll set it up to the top of the square. Vardy's down there through the fingertips. Kennedy gathers oh. towards the top of the square. Dribbling ball, desperate oh, stuff by Richmond. Straight to the line. Eagles are asking the question. Yeah. And that is the call. So West Coast can have a shot. It'll be better on pushing it through the behinds. A big moment late in this game. Josh Hill, the man from the pocket, steps out, snaps it back, and he's hit right across the face. Nothing. Terrible execution out of bounds on the foot. Once again, it's a different part of the foot that you've got to strike with a wet, wet ball. You can't rely on the same curvature with a wet ball as the dry ball. And there's the delivery. Rightly paid, but uh, they cannot take advantage of it, the Eagles. Two minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Morantz to the outer side. The Eagles are running out of time and space. That's why. That's out on the fall. Hurley will bring it back into play. As Vardy lumbers back to his position. Can't let this through the press here. The Eagles really... Uh... Sorry, the Tigers just have to waste the time now. They've got the score. Well, Hurley certainly took his time for eventually getting it away. Wellingham got dealt with. And the Tigers are away again. Down towards half forward, only to see it chopped off. Now they are against the clock. It goes over the head of Nelson. Oh, Pack forms again. Here they go. Rioli in the goal. You want a sealer? That is the sealer for the Tigers. They're unbeaten after three rounds. He's got his second. They are delirious. And they should be doing it. They have worked harder than the Eagles. They're quicker on the ground. They've played a better game. They uh, look as if they're in far more in sync than the Eagles at this point in time. And this forward line, this young, talented, quick forward line has delivered again. something about this club Richmond oh, oh, virtual live ladder oh, look who's on top the Tigers on top and we're into round three the army will be up and about and a holding free kick in the middle KB's talk back will go berserk during the week and Tiger time all over town and Vardy will take the free kick in the middle and now we'll get a blood rule you're going to get a lot of blood rules these days, aren't you, in, the, in wet weather. We're not used to playing in it, and blokes still slide in and lead with their head in these circumstances. West Coast with just the two goals in the second half, while Richmond have been able to put the foot down, kicking six. It's helping them to this 17-point lead. Two goals and nine at one stage. Here's Nelson with a run and a bounce and some dash through the middle. Maybe one last roll for the Eagles. Giles is up. McIntosh down there and quickly taken by Lacra, who snaps a goal. That's what West Coast were looking for with the seconds ticking down. Crumbing goal. They've had very few crumbing goals by knowledgeable smaller forwards today. One of the positives for them has been Nelson, his work off the half-back line. He's just a young bloke who needs to develop. He needs to be given uh, lots of time because this Eagles side needs as much pace as they can find. One minute 40 on the clock. I think Adam Simpson will be looking at the balance of this side. 11 points in favour of the Tigers. Giles goes early. Mankervis had his partly smothered. Socket off the ground by Shuey. Down towards half forward. Taken by McIntosh. Brings it out wide. Here's Gaff. Sending the Eagles deep into attack again. Can they take a mark? No, they can't. McIntosh overruns it. 
Ball goes to ground. Beautiful smother. Hooley had it, but only for a moment. It's pushed towards Gaff again. He eventually loses it. Pressed his hand pass. A little loose. Soccer clear by Martin. Oh. That was clever. Oh. Beautiful one-handed pickup, if you don't mind. And they go steaming in towards the forward line once again. An opportunity now for Yo to defend. He'll find Hearn, who marks on half-back. Goes long towards Giles again. Thumped away from him. Cochin waiting down in front. Floating punt kick. Wellingham's underneath it, and he takes it. But the bird has flown. 40 seconds remaining, 11 points the margin. Oh, Wellingham will send it wide for Redham, but it's Taylor made there for Prestia. Kick to a three on one. Taken by Lambert. Let's kick off the side of the boot, back in the Wellingham direction. He's got it in the back pocket. The Tigers aren't far away now. That kick a little better from Wellingham. Mitchell dribbled it through, but he's turned it over to Cochin. Stood up in the tackle, Hawley. He'll go wide. Clever kick. Prestia can go short and they can just soak it up here, Richmond. The army is certainly soaking it up. The Tigers start the season three and zero. They're undefeated still in 2017. Great performance, particularly in the second half. Brian Lake.